goddesses and welcome back to another video on today's video i'm gonna be trying out the hair extension line from vivica a fox i'm really excited to try these out because these are 30 inch extensions 30 inch long extensions this is the longest length of extension that i've ever tried in the past i think the longest before this was 24 inches so this is a lot longer than that and i'm just really excited to wear these especially for today today is my birthday i'm actually filming a vlog alongside filming this and i filmed a different video which i'll link all of those down below if you guys are interested but since I am celebrating my birthday this evening with my family I wanted to be just a little bit extra what says extra more than 30 inch long extensions so that is what we're gonna be doing today anyways before we get hopped into today's video please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can become a part of the goddess family I love you and let's hop right into it okay so I picked these up actually from the beauty supply store I try to look for the same exact length and brand on Amazon. Now they don't sell this length on Amazon, but they do sell other Vivica A Fox type extensions on Amazon. They are a lot shorter though. I noticed that those were 18 inches, which I've used 18 inches in the past, but my natural hair is actually 22 inches long. So I feel like it doesn't give that much more length. That being said, I will go ahead and link the exact link to these exact hair extensions from the beauty supply store down below. I was actually really surprised to find the website for the beauty supply store because I didn't know that they had their own website. This video is totally not sponsored. I don't get any type of commission when you buy these extensions. I just really want to share in case you guys fall in love with these extensions and you're looking for something that is affordable. Now these are synthetic. They are not real human hair and synthetic is a lot cheaper than human hair extensions. I did go in originally to find human hair extensions and they were asking for like $300 which I'm like no although I know that that's like normally the price and sometimes more for real hair extensions especially the length that I'm looking for I'm looking for at least 22 inches or above so I know that that's normally what it ranges but I also have like really thick hair and so I would need more than one pack so that would be like $600 and I just couldn't justify dropping $600 right now so the alternative was the synthetic which is a lot cheaper and the girl at the beauty supply store actually suggested the vivica a fox extensions for synthetic she says that her girlfriend wears them all the time and she's like they look so good so i took her word for it and we're gonna test it right now i'm gonna show you guys the packaging that it comes in you guys can see vivica is right here on the front it is a nine piece set which is awesome because i do feel like i need more pieces because again i have a lot of hair naturally and this is what it looks like outside of the packaging. This is a four clip piece right here. We also have a few of these like three clip pieces that you see right here and a few of the one piece pieces that you see right there. Now what I like to do is I like to pull all my hair back and then I like to separate it. So what I'm separating is going to be the first layer. So I clip it up nice and secure and then I get my first piece of three i'm going to do the three roll clip here just because of the width of the hair um the higher up i go i'm obviously going to use the four clip rolls because it'll be able to wrap around the whole entire set of hair or my whole entire head so when i get past the ear areas when i start to incorporate the four clip little roll sides of extensions but before that i like to use the three clip sides just so that it fits nice and securely and i just keep repeating the process i'll take a little bit of my own hair lay it down and then clip in the clips repeat again and again and again until i get to the crown top of the head i don't like to have it go too far up the crown so i want to make sure that there is enough hair of my, my own hair that it will lay over the actual extension track area so that whenever I am, you know, walking around, you won't be able to see visibly where the extension is coming from. So we don't want to do that. So I'm very mindful of not going too high up, but going high enough, high far enough so that it blends out really nicely and pretty. So there we go. Once we have all of that in place and secure, 
I like to put all of my hair down and then I like to turn over to the front like that you guys can see what the hair looks like. Once I turn over to the front, I'm able to get a better view of any pieces that might be missing. This is where the one clips will come in, those one loose, just by themselves little clippies. And I'll just put in anywhere I feel like needs a little extra love. So I'll pull some hair back and just clip right in. It's super easy, super, you know, customized to however it is that you want to do it. I do have layers in my hair, so I try to mimic those layers with these little solo pieces right here and just go for it. I really don't have too much of a technique whenever it comes to the front pieces. I just like to frame my face really well with that. This is the end result. I absolutely am in love with these extensions. I think they are so beautiful. Again, I will have them linked down below for you guys if you're interested. They have so many different colors. I love how shiny and vibrant it looks. I love how long it is. It's giving me like a Kardashian moment, you know, like when they do those like super long 30 inch extensions. I just feel so chic and ready for my birthday dinner. I am in love. I'm going to show you guys how well they move. They look really cool, actually, I think, personally. Wow. I'm in love. So that brings us to the end of today's video. I absolutely love these extensions. Again, I will have them linked down below in case you guys are interested in purchasing some of your own. If you do end up buying these, and taking a really cute picture like tag me on instagram i would love to like repost you to my story i look at like all the people who comment and interact with my channel and other platforms and i'm just thinking to myself like we have a really cool vibe of people that show up here and i just am so grateful for every single one of you guys and i just want to spread the love and show off all these beautiful people who show up for me here i appreciate you guys more than you will ever know i love you guys i don't want to get sentimental because i really do appreciate you guys I love you. Until next time. Ah.